Hey, how y'all doing? This is your girl, Zelda Sheep. I saying I am coming to you with a quick tutorial and product review for the Gotta Gotta Sleep Online Boutique. Alright, so thank y'all. Welcome to y'all to this page. If you haven't already, drop down below and subscribe. Alright, and if you are seeing this on one of my social media platforms, then definitely, definitely check out my YouTube channel and subscribe to the Gotta Gotta Sleep YouTube channel. Uh -uh. I'm sorry. Alright, so if you are following me on uh, any of my social media pages, then definitely go ahead on over to YouTube and subscribe to the Gotta Gotta See Online Boutique channel, okay? And it's G-A-U-D-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S-Y, -S -S okay? So thank y'all. Um, so basically before I get into it, I just want to give y'all a little information about the Gotta Gotta See Online Boutique. Um... I, I am a, we have an online boutique, but it's kind of like a consignment shop, okay? So some of the things that you see may or may not be always uh, available. Some of the things are customized and exclusive items that will only be available for a limited time because we only have a limited amount of items. So some of the items that you see that um, I may put up um, that we have available, it only may be a limited supply and some of these items may or may not come back um, and the reason that I did that is because I am a stylist that appreciates and values the aspect of being um, an individual being unique and being exclusive um, and so I just don't like to do a lot of shopping where I am picking items off of a rack that has um, at least you know maybe more than 10 of those items available in that same um, color or that same style and so I decided to structure my boutique in the same manner because I don't want everybody walking around with the same thing so I a lot of these products are handmade a lot of them are customized and like I said some of them may be um, an item that we always continue and some of them may just be for a limited time and they may have only limited amounts available alright so it's just the reason I'm letting you know that is because if you see something um, that you're interested in especially until the website gets built if it gets sold it may not be available again so don't you know waste time thinking about it too long if it's something that you like it's something that speaks to you then you definitely want to uh, go ahead and at least inquire about it okay because like I said by the time you decide if you might actually really want it it may no longer be available okay so today what I'm doing is I'm going to be putting on a pair of um, my our lashes and the style, uh, the styles that I be putting on today are the Queen Wings. All right, these are one of my favorite um, styles, and basically, I am going to show you how to put on the Queen Wings, and I am going to show you how to use the Gotta Gotta See. All right, Superior Bond Adhesive Eyelash Glue, and the Gotta Gotta See eyelash applicator okay um, my products are not new so y'all can see they look a little bit worn out but these are a couple of the items that I have on the site excuse me that we are selling and that will be available on the site until the site is up um, which is predicted to launch next month you can definitely contact me or DM me on IG at the Gotta Gotta See page alright and I just got approved to be able to sell the items through Facebook and IG so within the next week or two actually I should have the option to purchase directly from the page all right um <clears throat> and I will accept credit card payments but right now I'm accepting cash app Zelle PayPal and Bitcoin all right and but we will be accepting credit card and debit card payments when we are set up to do the process in online all right so <clears throat> basically the way that you, you properly use this eyelash applicator is you can pick up the eyelash and you can pick up the eyelash up with your hand as you can see it has a curved tip and the reason that it is curved because the eyelash rim is curved all right so you're basically supposed to grab this i slide it on i just slide it to the side like this and i grip the eyelash all right so basically you want to take the got it gotta see superior bond adhesive eyelash glue all right i'm just making sure i say that properly so that y'all understand this is adhesive glue all right this is not like super glue it's not like regular glue adhesive glue 
takes a second to get sticky and you want it to let it get what you call tacky before you actually um, go to applying it. So the reason that I like this glue stick, I think this is awesome, especially for people who um, tend to make a mess when they put on their eyelashes or if you are a beginner and you are not sure of how to actually put on your own eyelashes, maybe you're interested in trying it out, maybe you've seen it done on YouTube but you just couldn't get over the fact that the glue was so messy and just, you know, spilling all over the place. I like this because you can get a very precise application with the glue where you're putting it. And you can kind of control how much comes out. So I kind of square mine around before I pull it out. And as you see, it gets more on the tip. But if you just stick it in and out, it gets a very thin line. Um, I like to just make sure that it's kind of covering the whole rim and I put mine on the side and on the bottom of the lash all right so as you can see it's a very thin layer you don't actually need a whole lot of glue the other reason I like this is because you can I basically take this and I make a a line like I'm putting on liquid eyeliner let me move my hair out the way because the last thing I want to do is get glue excuse me on my brand new piece all right so basically I take a line and I just draw it across the top and this will actually do wonders when you get ready to stick the glue the eyelash onto the glue all right and you want to make sure the stick is pretty straight and don't worry if it gets up there because once it dries you can actually peel that down so i don't like to mess with it when it's wet right let it dry for a quick second and then you can just it'll just peel down all right that's a good thing about adhesive glue it doesn't really have to be messy but it will leave that right there and i'll show you how to fix that now this is not a you know nobody's perfect everybody makes mistakes so don't worry about it you only need a thin layer of glue. You don't need a big, thick layer. It does not actually take all that. You want to place the eyelash on top of the eyelash. And I like to go in the middle first and basically place the lash across the rim, the edge of the lash. All right. And when you're using tools, this is supposed to make the application process much easier. So as long as you're using the tools that are made to apply the eyelash, then you shouldn't have a problem. Now before I um, start this video, I actually put some mascara on my real eyelashes, which is something that I always do before I put my lashes on. And the reason that I do that is because it actually helps the eyelash to adhere to the glue. Because when I get finished putting on my eyelashes, I always push my lashes up. Because I like my lashes to go up and not out, alright? Because I wear glasses. And it's very difficult sometimes to wear my glasses when my eyelashes are sticking out so far. Because they are long. And if they still stick out too far, <clears throat> I'll get a lash applicator. I mean, excuse me, a lash curling curler. So basically what you want to do is, if you look up here, you can see that the glue is not really even noticeable. But I just roll that down, alright? Make sure that line is thin. And you can see that it is all on there sealed in and that's pretty much it all right so once i do that like i said i push it back and i blink down to make sure that eyelash is going back and that's basically how i put my lashes on right um this one <clears throat> i think i am going to actually use the eyelash curler for these two so i can show y'all take care of it if it is a little bit too straight or it sticks out too far from my taste all right also um, on the gotta gotta boutique we do sell contacts so if you are interested in changing your eye color or having your eye color enhanced um i offer you an opportunity to check out the next video coming up after this where i will be doing um, a product review and I will be doing uh, a video on showing you what kind of contacts and the colors that we have and the accessories that we have to go with them as well, all right? 
So once again, I'm going to do this on the other eyelash. My glue stick, and if your glue stick gets like this, then feel free to just take a piece of paper towel or something and just clean it off. Like it comes right off. Like I said, that's a good thing about the glue. And sometimes it will get stuck on the brush. I just pulled that all the way out. That wasn't a perfect fit. I can stick that back in there. I just wanted to make sure that this glue is coming off. So boom, there we got it. Back in effect, as you can see, that's perfect. So now the hairs are all over the place, all right? So we're just gonna take this side and do another line. And if you are if you don't have a steady hand, that's okay. Like I said, this is not mascara. It's actually eyelash adhesive, okay? It's adhesive, which means that it does not technically dry, okay? So you don't have to worry about making a mess, even if you don't do a straight line. Just let it get tacky, let it sit for a few minutes, and it will peel right off, right? So that's kind of how you take care of that. And basically, like I said, I like to place it, get it directly over. Let me hold my eye back so y'all can see. I try to get the placement on point as soon as I lay it down, all right? So that makes it all the more easier too. Like I said, you know, I hear people saying that they try to put eyelashes on with their with their with their fingers and stuff. Like I don't know how in the world. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I've had to do that, you know, in emergencies and things like that. But I've actually gone to school for cosmetology, so that is not how I was taught. So those are just not practices that I have ever done. And I wouldn't know how in the world I would have ever probably been able to figure it out had I not been taught the correct way from the get-go. Because it's, you know, it's just, like I said, tools make things much easier. It's just like if you're cooking, you know, you don't cook with your hands. Or either you shouldn't cook with your hands. You basically have forks, spoons, spatulas, knives, you know, um, you know, all kind of utensils to actually use to cook the food with. And so it's the same thing when you're putting on lashes. I'm gonna put that back in the Maybe you can see, I just, and see, let me tell you something too. This is the good thing about the stick. If you have to make an adjustment, you see how I just pull that up? So I can easily just take this little stick, put a line of glue right back exactly where I need it. And I can re-adhese the lash very easily, all right? Boom. There we go, much better. All right, and so um, basically, and I just wanna make sure that's dry. As you can see, that took all of about five minutes or so, all right? This is how quickly it should actually take you to put these lashes on. Once again, this is the um, Queen Wing that I'm wearing. have it I love these lashes I think they're giving me much drama okay so that is that concludes the tutorial for the eyelash application all right so once again that is the gotta gotta see superior bond all right it keeps the blue sticks queen wings and you gotta got the lash applicator, right? And with this kit, the lashes by themselves are ten dollars. If you get the kit, this um, eyelash adhesive and the excuse me, the applicator. I'm sorry, the kit is seventeen dollars, all right. And 
of course these eyelashes you can reuse them you just pull them off and you peel off the adhesive glue and you basically got a fresh pair you know keep the case when you take them out keep the box put the lashes back on the tray that it came on and put the box back put the lash case back um, excuse me put the lash tray back in the box and so the next time you get ready to put your eyelashes on pull your kit back out and go to work all right and also you can just continue to practice with one pair if you want to so that you can make sure you can become good at it all right so thank y'all for joining me once again this is your girl Giselle the she boss and this is an episode of the gotta gotta see online boutique all right so until we meet again you all peace love and happiness <laughs> later